Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to this land is my land. All right, guys, we had to restart our game because I got stuck between a tent and a cliff, and there was no way out. I couldn't glitch through, so I had to actually end my game and start over again. So, but the developers, after I said something in Discord, they put a they put a unstuck command in the social tab right here. It's unstuck, and it will send the character to the nearest active outpost. Or it might just be the nearest outpost because I died in a playthrough just a minute ago and I didn't, I hadn't activated the outpost, but I woke up and the outpost was activated. So you might be put at the closest outpost in general, but I would activate those outposts just in case, just to be sure. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to speed up. We're going to speed this up. So our, our, our early game progression right away. Okay. To do that, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to use this name. The name is Dad. D-A-D-D. -D -D. It gives me 4,900 skill points, and it gives me plus three warriors. So I have six warriors right now in the Hodora tribe. And we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go in, and I'm going to start off by taking a couple of skills right here. I'm going to go with Under Hunter. I'm going to do Gathering twice. And what that will do is give me 75% more wood, leaf, and mushrooms. And it also gives me more, it also gives you just more of everything for the most part. I'm also going to take Concentration, which is 1250, so I can slow down time when I'm attacking. Then we're going to go over to, then we're going to go over to Craft right quick. We're going to craft up our Wooden Bow, and we're going to craft up our Wooden Arrows. That's going to give us an additional 150 skill points, because that's part of our objectives right here. Now we have 1,300 points, so we're going to go ahead and kick over to Herbalism, which is going to allow us to get rare plant parts when gathering up to 25%. So I'm super happy about that. Okay, so... We're going to be able to get a lot more material and a lot of rare material right off the bat so that later on in the next step we can go ahead and start getting all the traps and all the potions and everything made up that we're going to need to really start getting the ball rolling. Because right off the bat it's going to take 20 wood and 10 rope to get another camp out there so that you can actually bring in more warriors because I can only have 10 in this camp. So I'm going to get another camp as fast as possible so I can spread my people out. So that number one, if they get if the camp gets attacked, not everybody gets wiped out. And two, I can go ahead and start adding to my forces as fast as possible. We got lucky on this spawn because we actually have a camp hunter right here, which is going to be a jail, which is going to give me two or three warriors right off the bat. So I need to make a couple camps and get these guys spread out in this area so that we can have room to bring in more people. So we're going to go uh, craft wooden arrows, which is just wood by itself. I'm going to go 85 just so I can get all the wood in the area real quick. There's a hickory. I got two hickory off of that. I should be getting to between two and three now every single time. Now, I could be sending my braves out to do this, but I, I'm not going to do that because they have a tendency to wander really super far. And if they do that and they're not armed, then we're going to have a problem because right off the bat, they're going to get themselves killed. And that's going to that's going to hinder my ability to be able to expand different camps if I have if I don't have enough people. So we want to make sure we keep our people safe for the minute until we get all the resources we need collected to be able to uh, get the ball rolling a lot faster than what we normally would be able to. I'm also going to get flax while I'm out, and I'm also going to get buck brush while I'm out. So I know what these look like. So you only have one objective at a time active, but I know what other stuff looks like. That's buck brush right there. So we can go ahead and we can just collect uh, flax, which is the white flowers, and buck brush, which is the red leaves. Actually, I can just go ahead and gather everything that I, have, I can get my hands on because it's, all gonna, because it's all going to be important later on. Especially these little black death cap mushrooms, you want to get those because that's a very important part of your paralyzing spikes. That's going to be one of the things that we're going to want to get right away as soon as we can because to knock people out is really good. To kill them, not so much. Because in the karma system, if you get bad karma, it speeds up the progression of the, of the white man. And so you don't want to give the white man any advantage if you can help it. Now, in the last video, I was doing a lot of killing because it was fun. And you guys were, you guys were getting bored with, the, with just watching me knock people out. But it really is necessary for you to do that early game to slow down the progression of the white man. If you start getting too aggressive too quick, they're going to take over the entire map. And you're, going to, you're not going to win the game. There's no way you can win the game that way. All right, guys. So I have enough stuff to make uh, five black cohosh tonics. And that's actually... Uh, it gives you 25 stamina over five seconds. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that to run. We're going to use that to fill our, our stamina bar. It's something I haven't done before in a playthrough, but we're going to start using it because I've got Black Kohosh here. There's no reason not to use the resources you've, you're given to you. And Black Kohosh is one of the things that's in the forest. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to get my stamina back up when it's super low. We're going to use that get, get that in reserve. Now also I'm going to go ahead and craft up the 
Buckbrush Tea, which if you're not familiar, Buckbrush Tea, four of them will fill your health bar. So you want to go ahead and get those two items set up for you right away. So when you get into a fight, you can get your stamina back up really fast and you can get your health back up really fast. So, and you just hold down the uh, the four button and then this is all the stuff I, that I, I have available to me that I can eat if I want, but be careful what you eat because <laughs> some of the stuff is poisonous, obviously. I'm going to go back to camp, drop this stuff off, and then we're going to go, go free our men. Okay, in a very short amount of time, I was able to get 32 rope. That's actually going to be, and I got 43 wood. So that's actually two camps worth, almost three camps worth of material right now that we can do, we can expand on. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this other material in here that we're not, we're not going to use right quick. Boom, boom. By the way, I'm holding down the shift button and I'm clicking on this on put so I can put the whole stack in at the same time. All right, I got some... We're going to go ahead and grab a horse right quick. Actually, you know what? No, we're not because there's actually going to be horses at Camp Hunter, I think. There might not be. I know all the forts have horses, but I'm not sure about the, the Camp Hunter. So we're going to, or the camp, the, the jail. We're going to have to see whether or not that's going to be the case. I'm going to probably have more braves than I know what to do with. If there's more than three, I definitely will because we have seven right now. But I'm going to go ahead and, and create a new, you know what we're going to do? No, I was going to create a new camp right away right now. What's this? Hey, okay, so we've got a broken down, abandoned camp here. Let's see, there's usually some good stuff in these. Medicine, nut, sausage, and 16-aught shells. Though it's sausage is really good for getting your health back up. So is the medicine. So, well, the medicine's not, I mean, it's okay. But, but the sausage, oh my gosh, guys. That sausage gives you 60 health over 6 seconds and 10 max stamina for 15 seconds. So, yeah, good stuff. There is a horse here, though. That's great. Hey, I got somebody over here on patrol. There's three, four. There's another guy over there. Oh, there's a lot of people here, man. This is like as many people as it is in a fort. I can be useful. Wait, that's the place. Ugh. I didn't mean to kill him. I did not mean to kill that guy. That's so not right, dude. Look at him. Please don't kill me. Look at him over there. Oh, gotta go. Get up, get up, get up, you fool. I intimidated him, but I didn't I didn't I, I didn't intimidate him enough. Oh yeah, they're after me. There's a lot of firepower after me right now. Sneak back through this rock over here. Now that they're all searching for me over there, we're going to see if we can run in here and free these braves. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we can do it quick. Come on. Come on, open the door. Dude, just stop. All right, we get the door open. Are they still up on the hill? All right, I might be able to free these guys. Maybe we'll get lucky. Release you. Release you. I release you. Uh-oh. We might have gotten these guys killed by mistake. Run, kids, run! If I can get these guys to follow me, we'll be good. Loot. Gunpowder. Take it all. You know what? We have gunpowder. Yep, 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 yep. All right, release warrior. Safely reach, safely reach Hedora. Great. Can I put this out real quick? Oh, I can't put this out. Gunpowder. They don't have any, there's no place to, get, oh wait, wait, there's another one here? What are you doing? Get out of here. Run. All right, we have 10 out of 10 right now. So it looks like we're going to be over, we're going to be over our limit right now. So I'm going to have to go and I'm going to have to head back real quick. We're going to come finish these guys off in a minute. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go, where's my horse? Oh, I didn't bring a horse, did I? That's right, I can steal one of their horses. 
But you're still a horse. We freed our guys. We're going to get out of here. We don't have to kill these guys. I'm going to come back and take care of them in a minute, though. But I'm going to steal this first horse. I'm coming back for the second horse in a minute. The door is overpopulated. I got to get another camp working. Like two other camps working. Super quick. That's all right, though. We freed four braves, and we got a, we got ourselves an extra horse. So we're, we're I'm way happy with that. All right, we're going to go to Hedora, settle. I'm just going to put them really close. We're going to put them right here. And we're going to give them 10 rope, 20 wood. You're going to give them the Sharps Lightning Mark II. And I'm going to give them, the, I only have one round. But you know what? It better, it's better than no rounds. I don't know why it won't let me send multiple warriors there right now. But we're going to go ahead and I'm, when, as soon as he gets there, I'm going to go ahead and send a bunch more warriors over there. So that we're not over population because it's not right. I don't know why, why in the hell it's doing that to me. The game's still in super alpha, so it's it's kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway, that being said, let's go ahead and let's head over and let's. I'm gonna make some more arrows right quick. We're gonna take care of these guys, I think. I'm afraid there's more than one person in that house. Oh. So I think I'm gonna. We may have to kill some people. I hope not, but maybe. Can be useful. Try not to kill your friend. Go, 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 go. I can be useful. Yeah, let's hope. Whoa, dude. He's standing up. Why am I in your belly? Stop it. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on now? I didn't even know what's going on. Close your eyes, children. Uh, no, I'm tying his shoes. I'm tying his shoes so he could go on a hike. That's what it is. That's right. Tying his boots. The laces of his boots. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh-huh. How many more people we got, man? Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. It's a Mission Impossible theme. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, is it getting light already? The heck, dude! Please don't kill me. Now get out of here, Medard Chop Loose. Okay, so I think there's only two more of them here. What are you doing, dude? He's like, I'll see you coming, man. I'm gonna walk away now. Okay, they're getting wise to me. There's three of them left. Okay. Hi, how you doing? I can be useful. Maybe. Hang on a second. Okay, you're out. Now I gotta intimidate number one. Dummy number one, where are you? Where'd you go? Uh no, I don't want that gun. You can keep that gun. Goodbye, Kai. Kai Fleming. We're good. I think we're good. Reggie Austin. Their names are in the bottom right hand side of the screen. All right. All right. It's been liberated, and I don't see any. And three more warriors joined us. Holy mackerel, guys. I am now 13, 14 deep in, in warriors. So I, I got 14 warriors right now. As soon as I go ahead and grab the, the second horse that's here. We're going to go head back over. We're going to start spreading out. We're at 0.8% right now. These guys are at 13% already. There's another, and there's another jail to our right. So I think we're going to head just to the north here and see if there's anything going on in this area. I don't know. It's looking like there's something to the east. We definitely got to get rid of this bivouac. Oh, yeah, totally. All right, well, there's no nothing freed up right now. So instead of trying to expand myself right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break my, I'm going to gather a bunch of flax and a bunch of wood, and I'm going to break my guys up into three or four camps. Because once I do that, then I'm going to, it's going to free up my other camp so I can get more warriors. And then you can send warriors to other camps. So once you make another camp outside of your property, you can start sending warriors over there and just start expanding out. 
So if, as long as I have a stockpile of warriors here in my base camp, my base house, I'm going to be able to expand out a lot faster than I normally would be able to. I'm not when I talk about the getting when I talk about expanding, I'm not talking about expanding properties. I'm talking about expanding the amount of warriors you've got all at once. So you definitely want to keep all the warriors you got. So you keep people from your, from your reservation and then you're going to be good. All right, here's our camp that we set up here for, I don't know where the brave went to, but let's go ahead and I'm going to move. We'll go here like this. We go, uh, Chick Pal, we're going to, uh, actually, we go here. We go to um, other camp and we're going to send two of them over here. And, they, and then now we're only short one. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go and drop over. Do I have, how much rope do I have? I'm going to have these guys settle again. And we're going to settle them on the, just on the other side of this, the uh, Tunene. We're going to send, I'm going to send half my warriors over there. Actually, no, three of my warriors over there. And we need 20 wood and 10 rope. So I've got, there's that. And then we're going to, I need, we'll give them that sharp. And we'll give them 75, uh, only, there's only the one ammo, but that's fine. And then, yeah, that'll do. And we're going to go ahead and send those guys over. Okay, guys, I don't think that's too bad. We've got three camps right now. I actually have room to, to put another camp together. We're actually going to be overpopulated with all three of these guys. So I'm going to gather some more wood. I'm going to gather some more rope. We're going to separate these guys into like three or four different camps so that no matter what happens, we don't all get wiped out. I'm going to have all kinds of warriors. At the moment, I've got 16 warriors. That's not a bad start for the beginning of a game. I think we're pretty good there, guys. All right, guys. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.